we assume here that an equation of the form f of x, y is equal to 0 defines y implicitly as a differentiable function of x. Then, the derivative of y with respect to x, denoted as dy over dx, is equal to the negative of the partial of f with respect to x over the partial of f with respect to y. Notice here in f of x, y equals 0 that the right-hand side is 0. So we have to write the given in this form. Going back with this one here, we use chain rule to derive this equation. So if f is differentiable, applying chain rule to differentiate both sides of f of x, y is equal to 0 with respect to x, we will get for the left-hand side, we have the partial of f with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to x plus the partial of f with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to x. And for the right-hand side, we have the derivative of 0 with respect to x, that is 0. Note that this is just equal to 1. And again, our goal is to solve for dy over dx. So if the partial of f with respect to y is not equal to 0, then we have dy over dx from this equation, dy over dx is equal to the negative of the partial of f with respect to x over the partial of f with respect to y. And notice that this one here is just the same as this one. And please remember this formula here. Now we assume that z is given implicitly as a function of both x and y by an equation of the form f of x, y, z equals 0. Then we have the partial of z with respect to x is equal to the negative of the partial of f with respect to x over the partial of f with respect to z. And the partial of z with respect to y is equal to the negative of the partial of f with respect to y over the partial of f with respect to z. Again, these equations can be derived by applying chain rule. And again, please remember these equations. To make this clear, let's see an example. Suppose that z is a function of both x and y, and x squared cosine z minus y squared sine z is equal to 0. Here we are asked to solve for the partial of z with respect to x and the partial of z with respect to y. Notice that the equation is already written in the form that we want. So we will just let the left hand side to be equal to f. So we have f of x, y, z is equal to x squared cosine z minus y squared sine z. Again, we are asked to solve for the partial of z with respect to x and the partial of z with respect to y. Recall that the partial of z with respect to x is equal to negative of the partial of f with respect to x over the partial derivative of f with respect to z. Solving for the partial of f with respect to x, in the first term, we will treat z as constant. So we have 2x times cosine z. For the second term, again, both y and z are treated as constants. So the derivative of this with respect to x is 0. Solving for the partial of f with respect to z, here we will treat both x and y as constants. So for the first term, we have x squared times the derivative of cosine z with respect to z, that is negative sine z minus y squared times the derivative of sine z with respect to z, that is cosine z. So we have partial of z with respect to x is equal to the negative of 2x cosine z all over x squared times negative sine z minus y squared times cosine z. Now for the partial of z with respect to y, 
recall that this is equal to the negative of partial of f with respect to y over partial of f with respect to z. Solving for partial of f with respect to y, we will treat both x and z as constants. So the derivative with respect to y of the first term is 0. For the second term, we have negative 2y times sine z over the partial of f with respect to z. But we have already solved the partial of f with respect to z and it is equal to x squared times negative sine z minus y squared times cosine z. So the partial of z with respect to y is equal to the negative of negative 2y sine z all over x squared times negative sine z minus y squared times cosine z. Hello, Math Monday in Vidro. To check out more lecture videos, click here. And to supplement your learning, don't forget to answer the exercises which you can find in the description box below. Enjoy and stay safe.